Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplication and division. This is standard 6.3e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 33 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Jada worked 21 and a half hours last week, and she earns 1160 an hour. So it's a pretty simple problem of how much money did Jada earn last week? Only problem is we have a mixed number here, and we've got a decimal here. It's going to be a little bit easier if we make them both either decimals or we make them both either mixed numbers. Since we are dealing with money, let's go ahead and turn them into decimals because that's how we represent our money is with decimals. So it's this 21 and a half. So we don't really need to do anything with that 21. We simply need to just bring that down. But it's this 1 half we're looking at. And we should know that uh, 1 half is 0.5. We'll call it 0.50 since we're dealing with money. That is one of our benchmark fractions. If you ever get stuck on any fraction, cannot remember what decimal it equals, simply divide up. Take your denominator, divide that up into your numerator, and you will get your fraction always. Even if it's a repeating fraction, you'll see that it goes on forever and ever. So there's your 0 0.5. One half is always equal to 0 0.5. So now we just have a pretty big math problem to deal with. We've got this 21.5 and 11.6. Now, since I am going to have to multiply these two, this is going to be a three-digit by three-digit multiplication, I'm going to just drop off these last zeros because we don't really need them. We'll pick them up at the back end. Multiplying by that zero is just going to be a whole line of zeros. So let's do three-digit by three-digit multiplication. And you might not have ever done a three-digit by three-digit. I'm sure you've done a three-digit by two-digit. Well, the first two rows are pretty simple. So five times six is going to be, that's 30. Six times one is six. Add that three is nine. And then six times two is going to be 12. Now we're not messing with the decimals. This is not addition to where we bring our decimals down. Even though our decimals happen to be lined up here, that's just a coincidence. We're not worried about that yet. When you multiply decimals, you do something different. Second row, remember you put a zero in that tens place, in the ones place, because we're starting here in what is the tens place if we weren't looking at decimals. So we got one times five is five, one times one is one, and one times two, and that's pretty easy, that's two. Now the only trick here is since we're going to go into our third spot here, into this one, which would be the hundreds place if we didn't have decimals, we need to put not one, but we need to put two zeros to start there. So you see how they're kind of lined up here. When we start on the second row, we put one zero because we needed to start right here. When we needed to start on the third row, we put two zeros because we're going to start right there. And if you were to do four digits and five digits, you would just keep adding an extra zero to each row. That's the only trick. And then we have another row of ones. That's easy. So that's going to be five, one, and that's two. Now let's add it all up. Once we add it all up, we will bring our decimals back in. So that's going to be 14. Let's see. That is three, four. That's nine. One, two, three, four. And that's two. So we've got two, four, nine, four, zero. Now... We've got one, two digits behind the decimal to begin with. So let's bring the decimal over one, two. So it looks like our answer is going to be $249.40. And if we wanted to bubble this in, remember on the sixth grade, it looks kind of like this. You get your decimal here, two places behind the decimal, four places ahead of the decimal. So you would simply put 249 and 40.